Now let me explain why this is the best build throughout the whole video. You could put him at small forward shooting guard or point guard. But in my opinion, the best is shooting guard. Don't matter really which hand, it's just up to you. Let me just put my, the day I was born, my favorite number. <clears throat> Alright, so you want, what you want to do? You pick this pie chart. You see how all around it is? And pay attention to your physicals too. You can go with speed, acceleration, vertical. It depends on what position you're playing. If you're playing point guard, you may not want. I mean, you may want just a lot of speed. But what I say go with is this one right here. That's going to give you that vertical. <clears throat> All right, so pay close attention. You want to make sure to max max out your shooting and your finishing from the start. You want to make sure to max this out to get the most badges you can from that category. Max badges. Now next, you want to go with your ball handle. You max that out. Pass accuracy. You put it on 71. If you go any higher, you'll you won't get the, the build name scoring machine. You'll get offensive threat or something. You max out your post moves. Pay close attention. And for me, I max out perimeter D, lateral quickness, and still. <clears throat> only on this because you don't really need a high still rating to get steals like that I average two steals a game I just know how to play defense but if you don't want that much defense I mean if you don't want if you want more defense you're going to have to sacrifice something else sacrifice one of the, some of your badges to get uh, five defensive badges that's up to you though but if you want a scoring machine follow the way like I'm telling you like this then this don't matter right here body shape I pick compact the best height is 6'5 cause at 6'5 you get that's why I told you I was the best at 6'5 you get elite contact dunks the green light window and tier 3 dribbles You could get that below, but it's it's a harder to get it. Like 6'4", you can still get your elite contacts. You, it's the same as 6'4", but you take hits other places. But regardless, if you pick 6'5", you'll get elite contact dunks, the uh, green light window, and tear three dribbles. All right, so what you want to do, I go 189. You could go any lower because strength really don't matter. But at 99 overall, I got a 99 vertical. So I go 189. So I don't take that much more of a hit to strength. So I go 189. Wingspan, make sure it's the lowest. You see? Once you hit a 99, the ball hand go up by plus 4. So you have 86. That's the tier 3 dribbles. Once you go to um, ninety nine again, your um driving dunk will be a eighty seven. So you'll have elite contact dunks at eighty five when you become a ninety seven overall, and you had a green light window at a ninety eight. That's when your three will be eighty six. And my best thing. It's to pick the shot creator take I picked this takeover, but I love it too. But the best one, if you want to be a scoring machine, scoring machine on your own, like scoring everything, shot creator for sure. See? Scoring machine. Now, I highly recommend these badges right here.
I highly recommend these badges because I'm telling you, I averaged 25 a game. I was averaging 31, but my internet cut out five times and it lowered my score. I was averaging 30 with ease in rec center and pro M. So I say go Hall of Fame Acrobat. Well, let me start it over. The most important badges is Contact Finisher and Giant Slayer. Those two right there, you'll be dunking on everything. Then you want to go with Fancy Footwork and Slithery Finisher. It's, that combination is, is out of this world. Then I go with Acrobat on Hall of Fame and I go with Relentless on Bronze. I don't believe you don't need Relentless Finisher very high because I dunk on people regardless. Relentless Finisher not as the same unless you just constantly rim running the whole game. But with this build, you don't need the rim run the whole game. You're so balanced, you don't have to do that. But you can swap out Acrobat for something and put on Lopsity Finisher to finish oops better, whatever you want to do. But this is the way I go. Shooting. I go with Catch and Shoot on Silver. Range Extend Hall of Fame for as a must. Quick Draw on Gold. Or Hall of Fame, whatever one you want to do. But I go on Gold. Hot Zone Hunter Hall of Fame. Hot Zone Hunter Range Extender, the best badges for shooting. Green Machine on Hall of Fame easily. And I go with difficult shots on Hall of Fame for that shot creating. I really don't need Dead Eye because I don't pull contested jump shots. Or I, I know when I'm supposed to be shooting the ball. So I go with this because I really don't shoot contested. Playmaking. I go with Gold Ankle Breaker. Space Creator. You know Quick First Step is a must. You know it. And right here, you can go whatever what you want. I'm pluckable. This badge not as good right now, so I don't really put this on. But I usually go with either stop and go. I know I go with tight handles. Either stop and go or handles for days. Or if you want to become more of a pass with needle threader. So what I'll say is I'll probably go with I really don't spam dribbles. I can pass my defender easily. So I won't go with handles for days. I'll go with stop and go on gold. And unpluckable on bronze. But you can change it up however you want. In defensive badges, I just go with bronze clamps. And that's it. Best scoring build, I guarantee it. You'll be getting 20 plus points a game. Because you can do everything. So... Pay attention to what I exactly I showed, and I'm out.